Hello friends, today our project is Highway Speed Checker with GSM Control and FATAC System. So now we are going to study the detail of our project. So basically this is our 230 volt AC, this 230 volt AC is converted into 12 volt AC using uh, step down transformer. This is high current 2 ampere 12 0 12 transformer, right? Not 12 0 12, this is only 0 12 transformer. So it is capable of providing 12 volt. So this 12 volt AC is then applied to the bridge wire rectifier. This is bridge wire rectifier. These four diode acting as a bridge wire rectifier over here. As you know that bridge wire rectifier will get AC signal and will convert into uh, DC signal, right? Or DC voltage or current. So this uh, DC uh, power is then applied to the filter circuit. These four capacitors, this, 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 these four capac capacitors acting as a filter circuit over here because as you know that the output of bridge wire rectifier is not pure. Uh, DC it have ripples as well as fluctuation so you have to use uh, filter circuit so uh, these four capacitor acting as a filter circuit over here this is 7805 voltage regulator which will convert 12 volt DC into 5 volt DC <coughs> these red and green indicator actually uh, are the indicators whether your uh, uh, car is in speed or over speed right if the car is in speed then this green indicator will be on and if over speed then this red indicator will be on and this is the LCD where speed of the vehicle will be shown or the vehicle detection will also be shown, right? And this is the microcontroller which is 805 and microcontroller and the number of this microcontroller is 889C52 <coughs> in which we have done programming of the complete project. This is oscillator circuit, these two capacitor and this crystal oscillator acting as a oscillator circuit and this capacitor and resistor acting as a reset circuit over here, right? And these two uh, LED this one and this one are the indicator for the IR sensor right so we have used uh, LED indicator on the IR sensor as well but we have used another two indicator on the board as well and this is the power indicator this indicator will glow uh, whenever you will apply 12 volt uh, AC to the circuit and this is the buzzer this buzzer will beep if the circuit is uh, or if the vehicle is over speed right and this is the relay this relay will actually uh, switch this green and red indicator if uh, vehicle is in speed then this green indicator will be on right and if vehicle is over speed then this red indicator will be on and this is the uh, FATAC system if a vehicle is over speed and if the uh, user will so this uh, door system will close and open based on your vehicle is over speed or under so this is DTMF section this DTMF section will receive signal from the mobile phone and this relay board will control this FATAC system and these indicators as I already told you will show you these indicator will uh, show you whether your vehicle is in speed or over speed right now we are going to see the live working of our project so this is the mobile phone basically this mobile phone will denote this uh, fatak will close or open based on whether the policeman or the traffic uh, man will allow the fatak to close or open right now we are going to apply the power supply waiting for the vehicle detection this is the message on the lcd now if the vehicle will come then it will start calculating the speed because as you know that you have two factor distance between this and this is you know right and time you will calculate through the microcontroller so the formula for the uh, speed is very easy if you have distance and time right then you can easily calculate what is the speed so now vehicle detected it is waiting second sensor is waiting now speed is 90 km per hour so green indicator was on and this green indicator is on it means uh, speed is under limit if the vehicle will cross again now vehicle is over speed nearly 360 km per hour so this gray, uh, red indicator is on right and buzzer is beeping now the next task is of policeman whether he close the fatak or not right <coughs> So he need to make a call on this number then he can close the FATAC and this FATAC is very away from these sensors. So what is the number of this phone? 90 There will be a call but in actual project you have to receive it automatically means there is a setting in every phone so the call will be received automatically yeah on it 
Now we are going to make a call from this number. Receive the call. Now if you will press 1, the door will close and indicator will be red, right? And after that, if case is sold, then the uh, policeman will press 2, then the gate will op uh, again open for the vehicles and indicator will become green. And again, the system will be ready to take the next vehicle. If you will press 2. Right? You have to press long because the nitro car is a little bit low. Okay? इसका अब अगले व्हीकल जो यहां से आ सकते हैं यदि आप अब नेक्स्ट व्हीकल को देखोगे तो ये इसने डिटेक्ट कर लिया अब ये टाइम कैलकुलेट करेगा इस सेंसर से इस सेंसर तक आने में कितना टाइम लगा है राइट उस टाइम के हिसाब से स्पीड को आपकी डिस्प्ले करेगा जैसे अब स्पीड 150 है ठीक है नॉर्मल है 150 अब 180 स्पीड है अब वो तो उसके इसमें इसने इंडिकेटर दे दिया अब पुलिस वाले के ऊपर है कि वो इसको लगाएगा या नहीं लगाएगा यदि इसने ओपन रखना है तो ओपन रखेगा डिपेंड करता है राइट उसने जैसे वन प्रेस किया तो आपका इंडिकेटर रेड हो गया और जो आपका रास्ता है जो क्लोज हो जाएगा ठीक है अब जब तक वो केस सोल नहीं होएगा तब तक ये जो रोड है वो बंद रहेगा जैसे ही केस सोल हो जाएगा तो वो मोबाइल फ़ोन से जैसे ही वन प्रेस करेगा तो ये फाटक जो जैसे टू प्रेस करेगा तो फाटक दोबारा से आपकी ओपन हो जाएगी राइट वो जो फाटक को कंट्रोल करने वाला सीन है वो करेंगे ये वाले रिले बिकॉज दिस मोटर ऑल्सो नीड वेरी हाई करंट This motor also need very high current, so you have to control uh, uh, these type of motor through relay because if you will use uh, drivers like L293, then you cannot control this type of motor, okay? So they basically provide very high current, right? And this relay will control these indicator because these are also high power indicator. If you will touch the surface of this indicator, it is also very hot right now because it is consuming very high amount of current. And this LCD will show the all the details regarding the project, right?